So the VFR, lovely bike, just come back from a trip. Um, so 200 and something odd miles, flawless. I was getting, I get around 150 miles to tank, and at the moment I've got 1 tiny bar left goes up a bit um, when the engine's running and it's not on its centre stand but I've done 155 miles on E10 so I've been getting the same fuel mileage with E10 as to E5 which is good um, I've cracked my fender That's I might put a picture here and the pads are loose so can you if I zoom in on this you can see that's not meant to be happening so before I order new pads I'm going to take the pads out of this side put them in this side put the pads from this side into this side and see if they do it um, so it's either going to be the disc the caliper or the pads but it's definitely this side is the problem and this side is fine this side is the issue so I had it all off yesterday so I'm just going to take this off just spent the last 10 minutes struggling to get these nuts off as you can see there a bit of Mr. Hammer had to come out and hammer these so I might have to get some new ones um, on other Honda models they replace them with rubber grommets I'm going to clean the threads out I think copper grease it, put it back in again right let's see if this fixes it but yeah this bike has been fantastic okay it's the pads but I think I know the cause. This part has some slight wear marks on it. So I'm going to have a look at one of these. Get a new one of these. You can see it's got some marks where the pads have slipped or something. I don't know what's happened there. Uh, so I'll get a new one of these and some new pads. So when it comes to brakes, hey, especially the front ones, <laughs> I'm not, I don't really want to take any chances. Right, pads and whatever that is. Right, well I just popped down to Wiimoto, got the bits, 26 year old Honda, parts in stock and ready available, not bad, not bad indeed. Right, so I might go back now, and I might have time to fit them, see how this bike goes, probably have to get petrol on the way back. Alright, uh, E5, and yeah, a few petrol stations around the, the area have completely run out of E5 and some had even run out of E10. I've, I've passed quite several. The one in Petersfield near Lumi's, um, near where the McDonald's is, was completely out of fuel the other day. Completely. Completely. No fuel whatsoever. Right, so take two because the GoPro decided to have SD card error, which is very weird, but anyway. Brake pads. <laughs> I even got a replacement that's a bit knackered. I've got a nice new one there for a pound and a bit, I think it was. And I even and that's the uh, the bit that's damaged in mine. So let's change all this over. It's gonna be a bit of a pain to retract the pistons. I think we have to undo the brake reservoir. Right. Tune back in when this is all done. Right, so take these all over again. All off. Put the new ones in so they're all new and hopefully that fixes it if not i'm gonna cry right well come back from a ride the piston is it's the uh the caliper seems to move which is very annoying i don't understand why it's doing that so i think i'm gonna replace this next it's not happening on this side, it's only really happening on this side. I don't know why. This is really, really infuriating me now. Um, it's all tightened down. It's all torqued up. And I hope it's not a bent disc. I don't think the, bent, the disc is bent. There's no warping or anything like that. It's just the clunking, which happens every now and then. That's because this caliper seems to be loose. Oh, I wasn't actually recording. Blast. Okay. Okay. 
come in the post. A used but possibly better condition than my caliper. Slightly different part number. So hopefully this will fit. It all looks the same. I think it's a different year, so but it looks like it's the same part, so it will fit, I reckon. It's in good condition. Um but probably a little bit better condition than my one is. So I'm not gonna grumble too much. Give it a take it apart, give it a clean. And hopefully this uh works. I bought this I don't know, when did I buy this? Not long ago. And it's meant to be a toolkit to go in the VFR. Um but I didn't put this one in because I had a full size one, so I'd rather put the bigger one in. Anyway, I just tried to turn it and the plastic snapped. This is brand new. That's a cheap rubbish. I mean, it was only a cheap toolkit, but still, you'd expect it not to break on a first turn. Yeah, let's just drain that. That's inside the caliper, that is. There we go, and this is just going to continue dripping. Of course, this is seized. It's never going to be easy, this is. <sighs> It's only the cap. It's been done up way too tight and I can't get it undone. I just tried hammering it and you can see it's just not giving. Get some WD-40 on it and hopefully it gets in the threads. Right, so I showed WD-40. Couldn't turn it with a screwdriver. <laughs> I ended up using a Wallet Hero and that because it's a big flat surface that has managed to get me what I needed. The only reason I keep this in my wallet is because it's got the bottle opener. So in case you go camping, you don't have a bottle opener. Oh, it's very bad if you don't have a bottle opener. Oh, it's coming out nicely now. This is a good old rub. See how well this stuff does? Got another can somewhere. Oh yeah. Ah, another can. Okay, time to put the pads in and hook it all up and bleed the system. See what happens. This might take some time. Come on. You can see little bubbles coming out. So I've got air stuck in the line, so I might reverse bleed it. Actually, even though I took the other side off, it seems to be this side that has the air in. I've just put some air in, uh, air in, fluid up there. I'll do it again. Because it's improved the pressure. Let's try again. I'm going to flush the whole system, of course, so it doesn't actually. I'm going to flush the system several times before I even ride it. Ooh. Open up, open up, and inject. And don't look at it because I'm not wearing safety goggles. Reverse blood the system, normal blood the system, and now I've got. Pressure. Might have been a bit of a... Lost my temper. Gave up. Got these lovely reconditioned... Um, just around £200. Um, and I got front as well, so that's 300 quid spent. <laughs> but yeah. Both sides. Brand new. Um, and I've got the new pads in. Just need to do the bleeding which is going to be a bit of a pain because they will be off so there's air everywhere now so I'm going to have to reverse bleed again and everything with my little tool right and hopefully that's fixed it's bleeding now you can see all the bubbles coming out give, give it another another injection I'm just going to give it a little push round make sure that feels all right and then I'm going to zip tie it all up and leave it until tomorrow and then take a proper ride tomorrow <sighs> nice and tight on there, leave it for tonight, tomorrow morning, take it for a little spin, see if it's okay, then take it on a bigger spin, and hopefully that's fixed. New front tyres on the way. Ouch, that's expensive, but at least it's, I hope, it's done. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for the support, thanks to all the patrons, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video.